Nick Durant here with Tech to University and I've started a series of videos here where I'm going to show you how to tune your tattoo machines. So when you break your tattoo machine down, you get it down to the frame, which is metal. You need to think about what types of metal are being used for the tattoo machine because it makes a difference. If you get an aluminum machine, it's going to be lighter. If you get a steel machine, it's going to be heavier. If you read a lot of these old books, they talk about getting a really heavy machine so that your line work is better. And I guess they think that being heavier is going to push your hand down and keep it in place while you're working. So when I first started tattooing, I, I went with the really heavy big machines and all they did was make my hand hurt. If you're going to be tattooing every day, you need to take care of these things. You know, you need to make sure they last a really long time. You also have to think about how these machines are made. This machine was pressed. It was probably a flat piece of metal that was cut out. And that's okay if all of your angles are correct. But if something is not correct, if it was bent too much or not bent enough, your angles aren't correct on the machines. And angles are important. We're going to cover that more in the second video. This first video we're just going to focus on our tube vise. Sometimes there's issues there with the metals and the materials that are used for a tube vise. So we're going to cover that. I'm also going to explain to you how some of the different metals will affect your machine and how it works. If you're trying to tune machines and fix machines, you should at least have the basic tools. Things like Allen wrenches, tin snips, have a screwdriver set with a lot of different tips. That way you can get off any of the screws, nuts, and bolts. You also want to get a soldering gun. All of these things are affordable and you can get them from places like Harbor Freight and Walmart for pretty cheap. Your tube vise is really important because it holds your needle and your tube in place. If you have a faulty tube vise, this is always moving around and you're always readjusting this during a tattoo. And it's a real big pain. The best tube vise is one that will hold this securely and won't let it move around. And also one that you don't have a lot of problems with. One that is really easy to use. Something that you can just slide your tube in, hold it into place, and then tighten it up. I've had machines where you've had to shove the tube vise in there, cram it in there because it never loosened up enough. Um, I really prefer these machines that you can just slide the tube in and then put the vise on it. It's separate from the machine. And that also needs to be made out of a really strong metal because you're going to torque down on this thing and make sure it's really tight. I really hate when I go to tighten up my tube vise and it's made from some soft metal or plastic and I turn it and all of a sudden this just keeps turning because it has stripped out. You need some really strong material there that will not strip and can take a little torque on that. Here's a perfect example. Um, this machine frame came to me. It's plastic. It's all plastic and it had a messed up vise. So this is what happened because this tube vise was not good material. The more you crank down on this, it never gets tight enough. And what actually happens is that you can pull out the screw for your tube vise here just by turning this. So you'll never be able to tighten this down enough and what actually happens is it pulls the screw out. 
It's missing the anchor there. It's missing the material there that was strong enough to hold that in place and strong enough to take you cranking down on this. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to use this machine frame because it'll never have a good enough tube vise unless I come up with a different way to do this tube vise here. I also have a rotary machine that I had the same problem with. I just bought this thing and couldn't use it because the first time I tried to put a tube in there, it just stripped out the threads because the metal was too soft. This is one of those little hammer rotaries, jackhammer rotaries, whatever you want to call it. Now, these truly are cheap machines that won't last very long they break really easy and they run about 10 bucks do they work yes do they break yes to me it's not the cost of the machine that matters it's how it's built and i've done videos on these before these are very these are built very poorly they fall apart so the first thing that happened when I got this machine, I haven't even been able to use this machine one time because of the vise. And what happened when I bought it, let's see if I can find that vise. The vise stripped. This is supposed to fit in here, which it was too fat and didn't want to move. And this vise is very cheap, so it just stripped out all the threads. You know, there's not a lot of threads on this either, so it's just very poorly made. So what happens is you can't tighten up your tube vise and it just strips out because this is a very soft metal that strips very easily. And you can't have your tube moving around on you while you're tattooing. The other issue these have is the screws coming loose and this is like a give clip right here. And this screw will just keep coming out all the time. I was asked recently by someone who owns one of these why they can crank up the voltage but still the machine has no hit whatsoever. And it's because this comes loose and you need to tighten it up. So what I've done is I've put a little thread locker in there or a little pipe tape that will hold that in place. That way you can get a nice good hit with this. Let's see if I can find something here that will fit in there correctly. That way I can get my 10 bucks worth out of this machine and get some use out of it. What are you doing, Fuzzy? You want to be part of the show? The alternative I came up with was actually threading part of the frame in the front here so that you can put a screw in here. Now, instead of pulling the vise towards you, which will tighten it up, the screw is just going to push that vise towards the back instead of the front, and it's still going to push against this tube here, which will keep it from moving around. And now, we have a nice firm grip on our tube. You have to think about what the tool is used for, what the vise is used for. It needs to be strong because it's going to hold something. 